Sirens. <laughs> Sirens. <laughs> Let's make a baby, Sirens. Miguel. <sighs> What's wrong? You want to do it on the floor? No, Siren. I don't want to do it at all. You don't want to make a baby with me? Siren, we just met, okay? We barely know each other. But having a baby sounds like fun. It, it can be. It can be a lot of fun. But having a baby is a huge responsibility and a lot of hard work, okay? If you don't believe me, you can ask Kay. I believe you, Miguel. Most mates just fertilize a female's egg and go about their business like nothing's happened. That's not right. A, a, a father should be a part of his baby's life, Siren. You're so progressive, Miguel. Uh, most times it's up to the female to raise her young, protect it from predators. But if you want to help, I'll take it. I didn't mean I wanted to have a baby with you, Siren. Kay and I already have Maria. I'm not ready to have another child. And besides, you shouldn't have a baby with any guy until you're married. Siren, I'm sorry. Okay, I, I didn't mean to make you cry. It's just that having a baby should be something you plan for, not something you go out and do on a whim. My face is wet. That's what happens when you cry. Mm. <laughs> Salty. Like the ocean. <laughs> I'm not used to crying. And I'm not used to making women cry. Well, except Kay, but that was when we first had Maria. And I wasn't ready to be a father back then. But now I wouldn't trade my daughter for anything. Maria's the most important thing that ever happened to Kay and me. But having her hasn't always been easy. You know, we both have to work really hard to support her. And when she gets sick, sometimes we don't even know what to do for her. Look, when you're a parent, your child is the most important part of your life. And it would be unfair to you, Maria, Kay, and me for us to have a baby, okay? Not only are we not married, Siren, but we don't even know each other. We just met. So what? Some of my closest friends barely knew the fathers of their little ones. That's a shame, Siren. To you, maybe. But to me, that's just how it is. The mood hits you, you get the urge to have offspring. Does Harmony have one particular spawning ground? Spawning ground? Uh, Lover's Lane on the road to Castleton, I guess, but I can't see doing it in a car, sir. How about underwater? Look, you know what? Can we just change the subject, please? You know, you're, you're just really weirding me out. Sorry. Look, I have to be honest with you. You know, I'm sitting here thinking you're the most beautiful, sexy woman I've ever seen. Thanks. I think you're gorgeous, too, and so, so sexy. All I can think about is being with you. And, and all I can think about is being with you, Siren. You know, that's why I went out on the boat before, to find where you were and figure out why you saved me and where you came from and, and try and get to know you. Like we have been. Look, it's great that it's worked out to where you can stay here, Siren. I just don't get where you're coming from sometimes. Portsmouth, New Hampshire, I told you. See, that's not what I meant, Siren, but that's what I mean. I mean, once you open your mouth and you start talking, it's like you're from another planet. I'm no space alien. I'm from here on Earth. And if you think I'm different, it's because my ancestors ruled the high seas while yours were still too afraid to get their feet wet. <sighs> I wasn't attacking you, Siren. What I meant was I've never met a woman like you. Maybe it's because you're from a wealthy family. Did I say that? I mean, not in so many words, but stuff comes out. I mean, like you not knowing how to make a bed, you telling me your parents are on a cruise, and you saying that your family ruled the high seas when mine were afraid to get their feet wet. I didn't mean to sound snobby. It's just that... Regular people like me think rich people like you are different. If you say so. But it's true. My family's lives were tied to the sea. Were they shipbuilders? Okay. I'm, I mean, are you okay with that? Yeah, 
I mean, sure. I mean, who knows? Hey, some of the fishing boats I work on today were probably built by your family. Does it upset you that I'm different? No, Siren. Not at all. You know, maybe you just don't take some things as seriously as I do. Like having kids. But that doesn't make you a bad person. I want you to like me. I do. Really, I do. I like you too. <laughs> Let's do something fun. Siren, it's so late. I have to go to bed and be at work fishing before sunup. Oh, but I have so much energy. Help me burn it off. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's take a walk or something. You know, maybe that'll make you sleepy. A walk? No, let's go swimming. <sighs> you want to go swimming now, at this hour? We'll have the entire ocean to ourselves. <laughs> you know what? I am way over the ocean right now. Almost drowning in it was a real turnoff. But I saved you from drowning, and I turn you on. True. On both counts, but... <laughs> Please, let's go swimming. I know it will relax me and we'll be able to sleep. I'm not up for swimming in the ocean, but we can go for a dip at the cranes. I've never swam in tidal marshes before, but I'm up for anything once. Anything. What? The cranes, they live in tidal marshes. I don't know any personally, but I hear they're excellent fishers. Siren, I wasn't talking about the bird cranes. I was talking about the cranes. The richest family in Harmony. Fox's family. They live in a huge mansion on top of Raven Hill. Anyway, my sister Teresa is married to Alistair Crane, Fox's grandfather. And she said I'm welcome to come by whenever I wanted to and take a dip in their pool. Oh, why didn't you say so? Let's go. Go get your trunks, and I'll get my suit on. <sighs> Siren is all that and then some. But different. So different. swimming at the mansion. We are, but I don't want to have to wake up Teresa's chef if we get hungry, so. Well, let me help. Oh, I love sardines. like sardines. They're not everyone's favorite fish, but I've always enjoyed them. I'm glad we have things in common. The more time we get to spend with each other, the more we share. I love sharing. <laughs> I thought we heard voices down here. Yeah, we were thirsty. Oof. Are those sardines I smell? Want one? No, thanks. Pass. <laughs> more for me. <laughs> I told you she's whacked. She eats like a seal from the Mystic Aquarium. So you guys are planning a late night picnic? Oh, Syra and I are going swimming. So I told her I could take her to your house. Teresa said I was invited, so. Haven't you had your fill of deep water for one night? <laughs> That's why we're going swimming at the mansion and not the beach. I prefer salt water, but fresh is okay every now and then. Huh. I bet she eats seaweed when she can't eat a lobster. Shh. Don't tell me to shh. There is something not right about her. I don't trust her with him, and I don't think you should get involved with her. I think that's everything. You're so good to me, Miguel. <laughs> Let's go get wet. <laughs> Have fun, you guys. Wait, we're gonna come with you. We are? Yeah, why not? Uh, I'll go get our suits. Tell Tabitha we're leaving. Hey, Kate, I thought you wanted to get some sleep. And this 
this heat? Who was I kidding? We'll cool off, take a swim, hang out with Miguel and Siren. It'll be great. 